Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed about how we can create pivot tables in Excel. In our today's session, we will be discussing about how we can create charts in Excel. Guys, whenever you want to visualize your data, for that case, we need charts in Excel and how we will be able to create it, how we can create it, we will be knowing about that in this session. So let's get started. To create charts, we will go to insert section in the insert section in the chart section you can see there are some recommended charts there are also different kinds of charts that you can create we have column chart line chart a pie chart this is a tree map which we can insert we also have histograms we also have sketchup plot funnel chart or we have maps as well or we have a pivot chart option as well that with the help of, we can create a pivot table as well as a pivot chart from that uh, you want to create a pivot chart or even you want to create a pivot table you can create that too suppose if this is the chart if i choose i can go to recommended charts and it will show me the different types of charts that it can create if i go to the line chart this is how it looks like if i create a pie chart this is how it looks like a bar plot would look like this which is a horizontal bar plot so even this is a horizontal bar, bar plot that which we can create and we can go for a regular one that is a bar chart as well we can create an area chart as well but it won't go nice with this okay let's go for a column chart if i click on a column chart it will add this chart for me you can do different kinds of formatting in it now suppose if i choose this chart we can go to format in the format section we can fill the shape uh, with any color that you would like suppose if you want to go with black gray or any uh, any color that you like you can choose any color you can uh, choose the bars suppose if i click on the bars as well we can uh, fill this shape with uh, whatever we like so if you want to uh, go for some darker shades you can go for darker shades as well if you choose the text action uh, text option we can change the text colors as well over here so accordingly you can put any text color that you like okay you can choose this as well and text color similar i can remove the total if i want to okay here on the uh, total section we can give a name to this chart that this is what this is basically a sales distribution based on months right so let's double tap over here and write sales distribution based on months here we have sum of amount and month name given as well uh, these we do not need these fields so we can uh, just hide all field buttons on chart and also we have a plus button over here let's click on this plus and it gives us if you want to give in title to your x axis and y axis obviously we need to give a title these are our months names so let's double tap over here these are our months and uh, the title over here would change in this way that these this is our sales okay so we have month name we also have sales if i click on plus we have an option to enable the data labels as well you can give a data label you can create a data table at the bottom as well you can create error bars as well uh, if you want to enable or disable grid lines if you want to provide the legend which we actually deleted if you want to add a trend line to it you can add a trend line to it as well so these are some elements that you can add to your chart we have formatting options as well which has different colors and patterns that you like we have colors option as well you can choose any color and it will follow that particular template for you okay and this is how you can choose a color for it if you want to even for format it further more if you click on this chart press control plus one together if you press control plus one it will give you the format options where you can fill different things you can even fill a pattern over here in anything that you want to fill you can give a border to it okay so here we have border option as well and uh, you can customize it accordingly Again, if we go over here, we have shadow options, we have glow option, we have soft edges which we can create. We have three D formats as well. Uh, here we have size and properties that if you want to size set the size and prop other properties, you can set that too. Similarly, this is one chart. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's open a new page and I'll just cut this chart from here. Control X and Control V over here. Okay. Now let's go to pivot again. Again, I'll choose maybe this pivot table. Based on this pivot table, I want to create another chart. I'll go to insert and this time I want to create a pie chart from this. So I can create a pie chart or even I can create a donut chart as well. 
there's another option to create a tree map but this will not work as the data is inside a pivot table had this data been outside the pivot table it would have worked for us but because it's inside a pivot table it won't work for us and here you can select a donut chart if you like so this is what a donut chart would look like again you can go to its design and design it accordingly you can format it according to your choice so again if you want to use the same shape fill color which we have used previously you can use the same color for each slices as well okay i'm not drilling down but for each slices as well if you want to change the color you can change the color for each slices as well like whatever the color you want to keep maybe some uh this shade or if i want to change this particular one to any other shade let's say yellow and this one to something blue and this one to something a darker shade of green maybe like this so i can change the colors as well similarly the he here we have the categories as well good thing about it is let's just first also change the title of it sales distribution based on uh categories so this will be our sales distribution again we can hide the field buttons hide all field buttons on the chart so that your chart area will increase again we can open this plus button we have data labels we can enable the data labels one good thing about data labels is you where do you want them you want them inside you want them outside you want a call out value or we have more options as well i prefer it outside so i'll just prefer keep it outside i'll remove the legend from here but then how will i know which one is classic which one is supreme for that i'll go to the chart on the right hand side we have format options uh, let's click on this these buttons and we have more options here label options in the label options you can also show the category name see chicken and the value classic and the value so there are many customizable options in excel all you need to do is explore them click on each thing and explore how many customization options are there and you can do wonders in excel okay so this is our chart and again control x and i'll go to this chart uh, the sheet basically and paste it over here so this is how you can paste your another uh, chart as well similarly you can add more chart to it keep it a little down till here maybe so this is how it would look like and if you want to add more charts more pivot tables to it you can add more charts and more pivot tables to it i hope for now it is clear how we can create charts in excel in our next session we will be discussing about how we can create slicers in excel so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session